Hey, how's it going, guys? This is a really cool clip here. I watched pretty much, I watched most of this podcast already. Um, and this portion right here is definitely worth talking about. This is James Gunn on Michael Rosenbaum's podcast. Uh, and Michael Rosenbaum, if you guys don't know, is the best Lex Luthor. He played Lex Luthor in Smallville. He also voiced The Flash in uh, the Justice League animations, uh, the Justice League Unlimited cartoon. And I feel like he did it in, in a bunch of other DC animated stuff. He's voiced The Flash for a while. Um, but man, let me just hit play so you guys can check this out. He's going to talk about Superman, the upcoming Superman Legacy movie. He's going to talk about casting. And obviously we have the best live action Lex right here. So they're going to be talking about some Lex Luthor. So... Let's watch this. Yeah. So was that just a tweet? Tweet you can't mention or you're smiling. I didn't, I didn't say that in a tweet. Oh, you didn't. No. Oh, somebody else was doing it. Yeah, somebody. Somebody else. Somebody mentioned doing it. crypto. Maybe it was a joke. Yeah. So who knows? Yeah, right. I, I, Chris Pratt and I were talking about crypto in a uh, interview, and I said no. that so he could play those crypto. rumors. Oh, okay. And then Chris right. goes, "Oh, now we're saying that crypto." So all those rumors that crypto are going to be in Superman Legacy, they're yeah. They're not real. They're not true. Those in the movie. That's a scoop. Ah, gotcha. Um, do you feel like out of all the big movies you've done and you've done big fucking movies is be honest, you will be. Yeah. Do you feel the most <laughs> precious uh, uh, pressure with Superman? I did up until I finished the script. Now it's fun. You love the script. That means he's pretty confident. In the script, he felt the pressure up until the point that the script was done. And then now he's not feeling the pressure. I love the script and people love the script. And so like, I feel great about the script. So he's getting some validation from other people. Like, so not only does he like the script, uh, other people like the script also. And my concern up until this point was, hey, he was actually initially going to do a Superman movie, but he turned it down. He didn't want to do the Superman movie because he didn't know how to attack the character. He didn't know which direction to go in, right? Because it's James Gunn. You know, he likes to put his twist on it. And that's what I was worried about with his, when he was talking about the initial slate, right? He was looking for directors. He, he wanted to make sure that the director's that the director's vision was up front. And while that does sound cool, it doesn't it shouldn't necessarily mean that each each film should be unique and that the director's vision should be up front and center because we got that with Zack Snyder. He did his own twist and take on the DC universe with his characters and I personally didn't like that. So I don't want to see another director's interpretation of these characters. I just want to see these characters for who they are. And James Gunn does touch on that. So let me just hit play again. Right. I felt a shitload of pressure at the beginning. I, no doubt. Like, it, what am I doing? Writing, directing. Why am I doing this? Do you go through those helping, phases? Why am I BCU? doing this? Definitely. But I think that it was, you know, people know I was offered Superman years ago. I said no, because I, I didn't know quite how to tackle it. And um, I think that, you know, but because of that, I kept thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. How could I create a Superman that's true to the character of Superman, that absolutely loves the character of Superman, and yet is a take on Superman that's different enough that it's a worth you know making a big budget movie about it? What does that mean? If you're going to be true to the character of Superman, how can you be different? So what does he mean by different? character difference or are we attacking the story from a different perspective you know uh, what does he mean by different here i guess every single superman movie every single animated superman movie comic everything there are different right you're not retelling the same exact story every single time so is the, is the story just in that sense different enough or are we talking about the character here where James Gunn had to alter the character a bit, but he did say it's going to be Superman. So what does he exactly mean by this? Um, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, that it's worth people seeing it, that it won't be boring. You know, just be it, It's not going to be boring. If you do Superman right, it's not going to be boring. It's not going to be boring. You know, all of those things. 
So, uh, so yeah. So now I, I, yeah. So now I feel good about it. So now it's fun. Now we're just finding. And, and then I felt a lot of, he feels good about it because he likes it and people around him like it. I want to know who these people around him, what, what are their, what, what are their opinions? What are their thoughts? Why do they like it? Who are these guys? You know, can we trust their opinion? Pressure, frankly, finding, you know, casting the yeah, role that's sure. tough, and, you know, saying, God, is there even, I know how hard it was so hard to find Star Lord. I can't tell you. I looked at hundreds oh, yeah. of people. Oh, yeah. Chris. I met with you. You did. Yeah. And, you know, yours was the worst. It was yeah, the worst I know. of all. Oh, I, I'm aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, Michael Rosemont was going to be Star Lord at one point. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I saw so many people for yeah. Star Wars, I couldn't find the right person until Chris. Um, and so I was worried about that. But now that we've kind of done a lot of auditions, we're narrowing it down. We're not done yet. By the way, there's a lot of stories out there about who we're auditioning and all these screen tests and all true. that. We just covered one from Deadline. They narrowed it down to three Lois Lanes and to three Clark Kent Supermans, right? Maybe that's not even true. Maybe that's not even true. According to this, according to James Gunn here, that might not even be true. You know, I'm just saying it's not all true. That's for sure. Like there's <laughs> things in there that are completely false. Yeah. But I, I can't go out there and say, oh, this isn't true and this isn't true without saying, you know. Can I ask you without this? Without going through everything. And by the way, it's not the audience's, you know, right now at this point, I don't think it's the business of anyone. Who's screen testing for a role? That is a very private thing. So if someone does that, shut your mouth. Someone's putting, well, listen, journalists have to do what they have to do. That's their job. They're How would a journalist to, find they're out? They're trying to get hits. They find out some things from agencies, but here's the problem, is that they find out some things from agencies that might be true. They find out other things from agencies, which are agencies pushing their clients and trying to make pump them. it up, like, look, don't you see yeah, it? Because there's been yeah, some things I, I never thought about that. What? I think my this person. I think my client is testing. Yeah, so it's like, it's yeah. like there's a lot of nonsense that comes. That's out smart, of it. actually. And that's, that's difficult because there's people out there that are supposedly testing that aren't, and that must be difficult because it them gets their name in people. circulation. Uh, and there's other people that are, might be testing that might be testing, yeah, and that are out there that might be testing, and I think it's not. It, it, it's a private thing between me and them or someone that puts them themselves on tape and then they say, Oh, I tested. Yeah. You put yourself on tape that well, that happens. <laughs> that happens. Well, uh, the thing that, you know, that happens also is people say, Hey, they offered me this movie. Like directors do that. I'm like, I had that with somebody who's on my podcast saying, Oh yeah, they offered me the role of Lex Luthor. I go, no, they didn't. They didn't offer anybody the role of Lex Luthor. Then I called the creator and go, hey, dude. Uh, this gives, no. I didn't, I didn't yeah. This, <laughs> just trying to yeah. be relevant, I guess. We had somebody say that. These directors say it about a DC project. They offered us this project. I'm like, no. no. They met with one of our executives about potential projects to pitch on. Right. That isn't the same as yeah. offering. It probably, you just have to let it go and go, I'm not fucking even entertaining this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, But whatever the case, there's a lot of untruths out there. Sure. Mm. Um, let me ask you this. We got to be wary with all these articles we're reading. A lot of untruths out there. Or just promise. That's why I, I don't even really care about. I don't really look into casting news. I just thought that was. I just thought that article was interesting because we touched on what James Gunn was looking for in a Superman, and I wanted to see if these casts, if these supposed casting, reflected that. Promise that or. Will the Lex Luthor character? There'll be a Lex Luthor, right? Then not isn't that already known? Yeah, they think everybody thinks there's a Lex Luthor out there. But <laughs> I never said there was a Lex Luthor in there. All right, so if there ah. were a Lex Luthor, if there were a Lex Luthor, okay. If there were a Lex Luthor in this movie, and there's a lot of other villains, so it may not be Lex. Luthor. And you are the best Lex. Let's admit it. There, yo, see, just just uh, James Gunn acknowledging that is so good because. Just him acknowledging that Michael Rosenbaum is the best. Like, hopefully, he's not just saying that because he's on Michael Rosenbaum's podcast. But Michael Rosenbaum is the best Lex Luthor. He was he was amazing. We know you're the best Lex. Come on, you're being funny. I'm not being funny. You're definitely nah, the best. That's dead Lex. serious. Really? Definitely. Definitely, but not yeah. right for your movie. <laughs> <laughs> not right for my, not my. I didn't say there was even a Lex in the movie. So. I know, but. If there were a Lex <laughs> Luthor, promise me this. Uh -huh. 
It's coming from Lex. You'll, he'll be, he'll have gravitas or he'll have, uh, he'll have a, he'll, he'll be Lex Luthor. He won't be a, a play, playing Lex Luthor, but he's more acting like this character. Yeah, or like this, the Riddler. Or goofy or crazy. He's going to be <laughs> something that's grounded and real. I know you. I'm yeah. sure that's what it is. Unlike, yeah. uh. Yeah, you know, right. because I'm not saying anybody's done that. I'm just saying that that you know, maybe yeah, done that. exactly. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. That's <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, we'll continue <laughs> yeah, on. This guy knows uh, he's this, is, uh, <laughs> this is one of my last questions. You've worked on Marvel and DC films. How do you, the two universes differ in terms of tone, style, and approach? My to head storytelling? was to do those. Smiles. And what are some of the challenges and opportunities that come with working in each? Oh, all right. I'm gonna pause it here. We'll cover this. In another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, yo, see what I'm saying? Like, it was a cool clip. And the fact that he acknowledged Michael Rosenbaum as the best Lex Luthor. Man, that gives me that gives me hope in the direction that we're going here. In somewhere in this uh in this uh podcast, he also says that Superman, the first Superman with Christopher Reeves is his favorite DC movie. So I mean, just these little tidbits here are showcasing, hey. This is where James Gunn's mind is. This is the direction he's going in and uh or the direction that he appreciates. So maybe that could be the direction that he's going in. So uh I don't know, just information to uh to think about to understand where James Gunn is coming from. I thought it was cool. The fact that James Gunn is on Michael Rosenbaum's podcast, the best Lex Luthor's podcast, and acknowledge him. I thought that was awesome. So uh hopefully we'll get a Lex Luthor that will have that gravitas that uh Michael Rosenbaum mentioned, because uh, you need that for Alex, man. He, he needs to be smart. He needs to be, uh, he needs to have that presence, man. All right, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll talk about the differences between Marvel and DC. We'll check that out in a later video. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out that one when I put that one up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.